I know I've told you guys hundreds of times, I'm sure, that um, Instacart has always been my favorite gig app. And I became an Instacart shopper in January of 2019. And I loved Instacart like so much. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Then all of a sudden, everything changed and you couldn't get a batch to save your life. It was just ridiculous. Uh, once the pandemic hit is when I started having problems because um, so many people just became shoppers. It's gonna be so bad. I haven't been seeing batches for years. Okay. I'm a veteran shopper. Um, I have Instacart running all day and all night, every day to try to get orders, you know, batches, good batches, shall I say. There was a recent update to the Instacart app. It was something about telling the drivers that they should sit at their favorite locations and they were gonna start prioritizing orders not necessarily based on your ratings, but more so based on your location. Let me tell you guys, since they made that update, it, a lot of people are saying that they're not seeing batches anymore. All of a sudden, this week, I'm seeing more batches. I'm seeing a ton of batches. Not all ones that I would take, but I'm just seeing a lot of batches. And I've actually made over $300 this week in Instacart alone. Um, every batch that I go for and try to swipe, I've gotten. <laughs> I got an $87 batch on Monday. A uh, 50-something dollar batch, I think it was. And then just last night, I got a $44 batch, you know. And because now that I'm shopping... I, qual I qualify for my referral bonuses. Before, I wasn't working enough. You have to, like, work at least, like, 40 hours or something. I don't know. They have standards. Like, you can refer as many people as you want, but in order to get the referral bonus, not only do they have to complete a certain number of shops, but you have to maintain your status as an active shopper. Well, before, I was getting a good batch once every three months. So, like I said, this week... I know it's only three orders, but it's three batches, and it's three more than I've seen in a long time. So I am pretty stoked about that. Like, the guy? I don't know. I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm hoping that this is a sign of good things to come for me and Instacart again, but you never know. You never know. So let me know down in the comments if you are active on Instacart or if you have an experience that you'd like to share as an Instacart shopper. Um, I would love to hear it. I mean, I have tons of experiences. I've shared some and I've not shared them all, but I would love to hear yours. Um, it's always been my favorite app, even though I can't access it as much as I would like. So, all right, it is dinner time. I'm sitting at... Publix right now got Instacart running and they totally updated my app again and it looks totally different now you don't even slide to swipe you have to press all right we got ourselves an Instacart badge uh, fresh market it is $29.53 to go 5.4 miles 14 items not so bad so I had to do pull a Yui and I'm headed to fresh market now um, the thing I like about Fresh Market, it's like a particular like organic store. Um, it's got lots of produce, but it doesn't have a huge like grocery section. So it's really easy to find everything, I think. The only time I ever have trouble finding anything is produce. But we're going there now. right now we do have alcohol so I got my ID with me it looks like there is absolutely no produce which is a plus but they do have um, deli items which here at Fresh Market it's huge they have a really fresh beautiful not deli like sliced meats 
it's um, like your ground beef and all that, your meat department, you have to ask for. But that's okay, I'm gonna start there. Let's go. Luckily enough, Instacart allows you to take multiple section pictures of the receipt, which is helpful for long receipts. Instead of just having to cut it up and try to cram it all in one picture like other apps do. All right, that went as smooth as can be. Uh, the customer is 15 minutes away. Uh, I don't know what people are talking about when they say that this whole new app update doesn't let you make replacements. I didn't even have to take a picture. Um, the only time it, it prompted me to take a picture is if I knew I had the right item and it didn't scan. That's it. Other than that, I made replacements smooth as pie. If that's even a saying. <laughs> Did I do that? But it, it gave me no trouble whatsoever. I had no problems whatsoever. So, I mean, it's not the biggest batch, but it's good. It's not bad. And uh, I don't know, but this update was on my phone this morning and it changed the whole look of the app. Everything's different. You don't swipe anymore. You, you press to accept it. Uh, I don't know. It, I think they're trying to make things easier for us, but I've been seeing all over YouTube people saying that replacements are a nightmare and I had no problems whatsoever. I had a couple of replacements to make and it was easy. All right, we are off to, we have to check her ID because she got a bottle of wine, but uh, smooth sailing. All right, we got that dropped off. The ID scanned perfectly, no problems whatsoever. Um, this time I actually had to hold it farther away instead of how you used to have to hold it close up, but it was pretty easy. The only thing I see wrong here is the price so it's paying out 2707 it says instead of the 29 I did make some replacements I thought they were equal replacements but the cheese she wanted was like a $30 cheese oh, mercy so the cheese that it, she chose as a replacement may have been cheaper I don't know I'd have to look sometimes it takes a little bit and then it adjusts itself out all right 